Defendants charged with arson and accused of burning down a Wendy's back in 2020 wants her own trial. It's the same Wendy's where Rayshard Brooks was shot and killed by an Atlanta police officer and protests broke out one day before the fire. 11 Alive's Joe Henke was in the Fulton County courtroom today. Joe, why are 31 year old Natalie White's attorneys now asking for her to be tried separately? Well, Joe, Natalie White and two others have been indicted and charged with arson in this case. Her attorneys in court today, though, argued she doesn't know either of those two defendants that she's charged alongside. And for two specific reasons, they want her to have a separate trial. Natalie White appeared in a Fulton County courtroom for the first time since 2020 after her case ended up in the backlog of pandemic era cases. Two years ago, a Wendy's on University Avenue burned in southwest Atlanta as protests broke out in response to the deadly shooting by Atlanta police of Rayshard Brooks during an attempted arrest a day earlier. White was later arrested for the fire, as were 35 year old John Wade and 25 year old Chisholm Kingston. Each are charged with two counts of first degree arson and a single count of conspiracy to commit arson. White's attorney, Drew Finling, says White needs to have her own trial and the conspiracy charge should be dropped. Whoever presented this case to a grand jury clearly did not understand the evidence that these are three complete strangers to one another. Ms. White has nothing to do with these people, nor is there any allegation she has any thing to do with these people. White's attorneys say prosecutors have failed to show any connection between the defendants so they could not have conspired to commit a crime and that charge must be dropped. Wade was recently sentenced to five years in prison in connection to an arson case at an Atlanta post office seen here where federal prosecutors say mail trucks, postal property and mail were burned. Finling fears Wade's conviction could hurt White's case if tried together. And prosecutors in court today said otherwise. They said they do have a case to support that they have built uh, to support the conspiracy charge and trying these three defendants alongside of each other. The judge from today's hearing said he will rule on these matters by the end of next week, and then we'll know how this case can move forward. We'll send it back to you in studio. Joe Hankey there at the Fulton County Justice Center. Thank you, Joe. The officers reportedly involved in Rayshard Brooks's killing are in their own legal battle right now. Atlanta police officer Garrett Rolfe and former officer Devin Brosson just filed a federal lawsuit. The two are accusing the city of violating their constitutional rights following the shooting. They both say they used reasonable force in the attempts to arrest Brooks. The lawsuit claims former Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms and former Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard accused the officers without an investigation. Both Rolfe and Brosson are still employed by the police department but are not on active duty.